in from the Wall Street because overnight we understand that the number of cases of coronavirus have spiked in specifically in the Hubei region where we saw additional deaths and close to 15,000 new cases which have been confirmed. So that is causing a bit of a flutter among the Asian markets. Though they're still in the green, they're well off the highs as we speak. So we have the Nikkei which is absolutely flat. The Korean market's actually outperforming with a gain of almost six tenths of a percent odd. And then we have the Straits as well as the Taiwanese indices. The Taiwanese index also gaining about three quarters of a percent. The SGX Nifty, however, indicates a slightly flat to muted start. And this would be an important one to watch out for going forward just in today's trading session given the fact that it is weekly options expiry and we are sitting at three week highs and on the back of a strong rally for the frontline indices. Okay, then let's talk about the US market. Stocks rose to all time highs as investors shook off concerns over how the coronavirus would impact corporate profits and the global economy. The Dow Jones was higher by 275 points, Nasdaq gained around 90 points, whereas S&P was higher by 20 points. However, the pace of new reported cases for coronavirus appears to be slowing down as they hit their lowest levels since late January. Chinese lawmakers have also taken steps to curb a possible economic downturn from the coronavirus. CNBC's Eric Shemi gets us a wrap of all the action on Wall Street. U.S. stocks ending the day in the green as investors shake off coronavirus fears. The Dow rising 275 points, the S&P up 21, and the Nasdaq higher by 87. Homeowners taking advantage of lower mortgage rates. Total mortgage application volume rose 1.1 percent last week, driven by a surge in refinancing. Applications to refinance a mortgage skyrocketing 207 percent compared to the same time last year. That's according to data from the Mortgage Bankers Association. Meanwhile, oil prices surging 3 percent to a more than one month high after OPEC slashed its 2020 oil demand outlook. OPEC citing the coronavirus outbreak in China as a major factor behind its decision. The amended forecast is likely to reinforce the need for more production cuts. Bed Bath & Beyond shares getting hammered after the retailer reported weaker than expected sales numbers on Tuesday, a sign that a turnaround is further off than previously expected. The company blaming the weakness on heightened promotions, lower store traffic and inventory issues. That's the action from the U.S. market. Back to you in Mumbai. Okay, so OPEC cutting uh, crude oil demand forecasts because of coronavirus. We will be tracking that space very closely. But let's also listen in to what experts are making of the market trajectory amid global coronavirus concerns. Well, I think part of the problem is that people, you know, there's still the hope in the market. And when you look at the options market, it makes it so that the tails, if this doesn't happen, are quite cheap. Because I think that people are sort of underpricing the fact that this might not happen or frankly that the coronavirus or some other tail in the market is going to be so much worse than can be priced in that we haven't really had the ability to value that on a derivatives basis. If growth comes in better than expected, you could see double digits. Just the China story is a big question mark and how that impacts Q1 and Q2. If this is normally when you look to trade or, or buy this dip is when you see the rate of infections decreasing, which is what's happening. So if, this, if these numbers are real, you should be looking now to get invested. The market is, uh, is acting bulletproof, but I don't think it's completely immune to a large shot either. So when, when, we, when we look at things, it's definitely going to be uh, any issue is going to be caused by political volatility or I would say volatility around this virus. And so far, the virus looks to be largely contained. I think the prevailing view is that supply chains were already redirected as it related to the trade war. So there was some immunization kind of put into the system. Um, but if you start to see it spread, or, 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 you, or you kind of start to see an, a, a more uh, difficult economic backdrop as in, in Q1 related to this, I think you could start to see a pullback in markets. And I'd be, I'd be a little cautious. You've had some negatives that hit the market. Coronavirus caused a 3.5% decline peak to trough. That's not much. You have a uh, you know, radical uh, candidate who's won the first two primaries and the market's hitting an all-time high. I think you have to take a step back and ask what is going on as the market whistling by the graveyard. And I think the answer is, is that we're seeing a classic case of a capitulation year where people were too bearish last year and they're taking advantage of every pullback to reverse their direction and get in. And that is mitigating 
the pullbacks or the bad news hitting the market. So I think this is all about the reversal of last year's overly bearish uh, opinions by people. Right, and across the Atlantic, European markets also ended higher despite coronavirus fears. The CAC was high by almost 50 points, the German index high by 121 points, and the FTSE, the British index, gained about 35 points. This as the market awaited clarity on new coronavirus cases and some corporate earnings as well in specific stocks. Heineken, the beer maker, was high by almost 6% in yesterday's trading session after the CEO of 15 years said that uh, will step down and make way for the current head of Asia-Pacific region to go ahead and lead the company. So will be important to see and interesting to see whether there would be an impact of that in United Breweries in India or not as well. Henneken, a significant shareholder out there. And the fact that the CEO, the global CEO, now comes from the APAC region. So we'll keep an eye out on that as well. Oh, absolutely. But let's talk about the currency space then. The dollar index bounced back up from lows from of previous sessions as China considers steps to curb spread of coronavirus. Safe haven currency yen, meanwhile, softened against the dollar. In the world of commodities, we had crude oil prices higher as Brent trades over 1%. Global oil cartel OPEC has slashed its oil demand outlook for 2020. OPEC has also revised its outlook for global oil demand growth downwards to 0.99 million barrels per day in 2020. Fresh coronavirus concerns continue 